Since Obsidian bases have been added, people have been flexing with views like this. Usually, these cards mean hours of coding, but this couldn't be further from the truth. It's so easy that I'm going to show you how to get this exact book view in the next 5 minutes. I think you will learn a thing or two. Alright, so for building this step by step, I'm actually just going to make a new vault. I'm just going to call it book view demo vault. Alright. So now we're in the new vault, I'm just gonna delete the welcome file for now. And first things first, we should make sure that our Obsidian version is newer than the V1.9 and that under core plugins, we actually have the basis plugin enabled. Also for this example, we're gonna turn on community plugins to get the very nice book search plugin because it actually makes it easier to fill the table with books you've read. All right, making sure both of these plugins are enabled, these two icons should appear in the ribbon menu and we could actually click create a new base. So we have created a new folder to like create our book view in. And also I would create a new folder and call it books. Let's also name this book view, like the space. Okay, by default, a base literally just displays all files in the vault. So for instance, if I create a lot of new notes and look in our book view, we are actually gonna see all of these things, which obviously we don't want that to happen. We actually want to narrow down our search. So I'm just gonna drag all of these things into my books folder like this. And also I'm just gonna create another file and call it, this should not be displayed. Because if we look in the book view, this should not be displayed, it's still being displayed. So how do we actually narrow down that search? So what a base allows us to do is to actually filter or sort and also display certain properties. And for what we're trying to achieve right now, filters are needed. So looking in here, we're actually gonna see all the following are true where file links to. So this is actually not what we're, what the kind of logic we need. The kind of logic we need is derived from a folder. So we're actually gonna take the folder property and then the folder is, oh, and there it is actually suggested, books. So now, as you can see, we have narrowed down all the displayed files to our books folder. So we can actually delete. This should not be displayed because that suffices for the example. But looking at our book view, it is just entirely different. So what is the next thing we actually need to do? Before changing anything in the way we display things, I would suggest importing some books. So I'm actually just gonna delete all these files. And now using our book search plugin, I'm gonna click the create a new book note on the left. And here we're actually suggested to like search for a book either by ISBN or by a keyword. So for example, I'm taking the ISBN of Dune, then I'm gonna paste it in, click on search. And then on the bottom, we see Dune by Frank Herbert. Very good book, by the way, you should read it. All right, and this creates a node filled like in the properties of that node, all the properties of the book that are relevant, like a description, the cover, like, like a link to the cover image, also the categories, uh, the author and the title, like all of these things are automatically filled in. So we can now drag that into our books folder. Now coming back to our book view, this still looks kind of boring because the cover isn't displayed. And also this is a list view. When we look at the original book view, these are actually cards. So how do we achieve that? First, we go on the top left where actually, you know, we manage our views there. So we can just add a new view and give it the layout option cards. You see where I'm going with this? Next, we can choose the image property. So when we click on image property, we can choose like all of the properties that our book notes has. And looking through it, we see the cover URL. So I'm just gonna click cover URL and oh my God, that already looks pretty good. Also image fit is automatically set to cover, which isn't what we want. We don't want the image to cover everything. We want the image to be contained in there. But also we can adjust the image aspect ratio. So if we just increase the aspect ratio, then this starts to look a lot better. Okay, for some reason our, our filter was removed. I don't know why. I'm just gonna add that again. Nice. All right, and before moving on to the next step, I'm just gonna import a few more books. Again, using the book search plugin, this time by keyword, deep work with like quotations. And then there is deep work by Cal Newport. We added that note. I'm just gonna drag it in the books folder and then gonna look at the book view again. Oh, by the way, by default, it now chooses still like the table view, which is sort of not what we want. So I'm gonna go in the configure view view again and then click on delete view. So we only have the card view as an option. So like if we go back in this note, then immediately the kind of view we want to be displayed is displayed. And yeah, I mean, now there's only one thing missing, which is that we actually display the correct properties. So if we import a book, it's actually like the file name that's going to be displayed here, which is Dune and then like, so the title and then the author like separated by like this minus, but we actually don't want that to be the case. 
we actually want to display the certain properties. So I guess you have already guessed that the relevant tab for that is the properties tab. And if we look here, then we see it is currently displaying the file name. So we're just going to uncheck that. But we don't just want to have all these images. We actually want to look through here. And the thing we want to display is the author and also the title. As you can see, the author is still on the top. So just going back into our properties window, we can actually drag these properties in their order by just hovering over the icon. And then I'm just going to put the title on top. And bam, that is literally how you get the book view with bases. So we have this aesthetic display of all the books that we quickly can import via the book search plugin. And we can also just immediately get into one of these books by clicking on them and then add all kinds of, and we can add all sorts of notes in there and like structure it all the way we want. As a last pro tip, you can adjust the size of these cards in the view configuration, which is pretty cool. All right, if you weren't able to follow along directly, you can just check out the description to download this vault directly and then open it. That page will also show you my giant journaling template, Time Garden. It's free to download and totally brings your Obsidian journaling to the next level.